Alright you guys, we're going to start the build of the 30 millimeter EDF Batwing. Just a little micro jet. Started on it. Alright, here we got our 3 millimeter Depron foam. I already taped my sheet down nice and flat. I'm cutting on the back side of a carpet. You're going to need your razor knife and your ruler. We're going to start with let's see, the top of the fuselage piece. First thing we're going to do is cut out this little air intake, but there's a hinge line. I'll show you what that's all about. This is all just straight cuts. Now on the hinge line, you're just going to want to do a straight cut, but only cut, a, score it. We're only scoring that line. Don't cut all the way through. So there's our ear intake piece. Now let's go ahead and start cutting out the main top piece for the fuselage. I just start these lines with a ruler. And they're all straight cuts. Now I'll finish them up free handed. Do a lot of freehand on this so I can save some time. Get my X Acto knife. For a lot of these cuts, you're going to want to use an X Acto knife. So there's some sharp little turns in here. piece for our fuselage. Now we're going to get right into this canopy left and right. You're going to need two of these. So I'll just cut this one out. Flip it onto a piece of foam and make a second one. This is the best way to get the exact piece that you just cut. Let's go ahead and cut out our second one. And if you want, cut on the inside of the black line. So it'll give you the exact same piece. If you cut on the outside of the black line, it's just going to make your piece a little bigger. pieces top of our fuselage now we'll go back cut out the side pieces for our fuselage these are just all straight cuts
I've been flying the Batwing for some time now. And I gotta say it's one of the best flying jets I think I've ever flown. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get your build done. There we have our side piece. For the air intake, we'll just wait to cut that out in the end. Just put that off to the side. Now we're going to want to trace this piece out and make a duplicate. Try not to let your piece move around. I want to keep it exactly where it is. Cut this one out. These are all again all straight cuts. There we have both sides of our fuselage. Make sure I got them in order here. And here's your canopy pieces. Just like so. Alright. Let's get on to the main airframe. Don't cut out your thrust tube. We'll get to that later on. So, now for your leading edges, you're going to want to try to 45 the beginnings. I don't care if you 45 all the way around. You can turn it into a straight cut. Me, I just go ahead and I, I put a little angle on it anyway, a little 45 myself. So you're going to want an X-Acto knife for all these cuts. These are all just straight cuts. I'm not doing no 45s in here. Again, the same thing here, just all straight cuts. I'm going to try to speed through this so mine is going to not be that pretty. Now you guys can take your time and do yours.
So here we're just cutting out our main airframe. straight on your hinge line and just like the other builds bring it over to your foam set it on there real nice you just want to mark where the line goes you can take this ale on and just flip it right over to the other side both pretty much identical five degree cut toward the front. Now remember this is the top of your fuselage. You can go ahead and mark top. All you do from that point once you 45 toward the front of the plane just take and cut off this little 45. You want to back cut it. Another 45 into it. So I'm trimming off this little piece and doing another 45 backward. Just like so. Same thing with this one. Just back cut another 45 degree. Tape those on. If you want, you can go ahead and fold this back and add another two little pieces of the tape just to keep your hinge nice and tight from top and bottom. But as you can see, the 45 cuts are on the very bottom, so it's actually like a little V-channel out of there. Flip it back over. All right, now the next step, you want to take and mark a line right down the center of your bat wing. Make sure this line is nice and centered. Like so. Now we're just going to want to take and score the, the top line on the top of the main airframe. Make sure it's on center. So we're going to put a little plus dihedral in this plane. Now remember, you don't want to cut all the way through just to score it. It should break in that spot. All right. Now that you got that, what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this back up where where the line will meet back up. What I usually do is I run a little poker tool down this line a little, just to open it up just slightly. So you see that's what we're looking for, a little 
plus dihedral. Negative dihedral will be like this for my other jets. This one needs a little positive. There's negative. Let's go ahead and just put a, some hot glue down the center of this. Remember, just put a nice little bead, not a whole lot. And go ahead and what I do is I just stick my fingers under both edges like that. This will give you the dihedral you're looking for. And make sure that the middle is down like that and put your fingers at the edges. You can come in here and hold it like this if you want. You don't want to put a lot of pressure, just enough to close up that gap and give us a little positive dihedral. So there we go. A little bit. Alright. Move on to the next step. Uh, got the elevons. Let's go ahead and put this together. I see I only scored a line here because now I'm going to take an Back cut a 45 into that. So this little flap, this little hatch will flip upward. Remember, don't cut all the way through, just 45. Get all that excess stuff out of there. This is your uh, intake for the top of your fuselage. So as you can see that little flap opens up, there's your intake. Go ahead and throw a little bit of glue on there and fold it back. Wipe your excess, fold it back. Good. Alright, you can take your plans and cut your battery hatch off. your battery hatch. As you can see this was your flap and your battery hatch. So now the next step actually we'll just leave this on here. We're going to mark where the battery hatch is going to be the line for that. Now we're going to install our canopies pieces, which were these two. As long as you have them behind the battery hatch, it don't matter. And there's no real science to this stuff. You can just put them on there nice and straight, to your preference. Let's glue them on there. I just eyeball this stuff up. Right side. Just make sure they look about the same. Remember, don't go past your hinge line for your battery hatch. And there was our hinge line there. <clears throat> so there's the top of your fuselage right, left. So what we're going to want to do now with these is join them like this. Make sure you stick to the body line as far back as you can on this. Line it up with the nose. Just line it up the side of the fuselage. 
just go ahead and glue these on. When you install these, try to put them at a little angle. I didn't do all them fancy 45 cuts because we can just do this by eyeballing it. Show you what I'm talking about here. As you can see, it's angled a little bit outward at the bottom. Go ahead and do the other side. I always use the hot glue gun because I've never had the plane break in that spot. Once you hot glue it, it's pretty much done. So again, I'm leaving a little angle on it. You want to match it up to the other side as best you can. you line up your body line down the side again I'm just going quick here that's going to be your main fuselage here's your jet air intake all right once you do that what I want you to do is just line this up best you can make sure this is lined up with this line and your nose pieces are flush with the nose and we can take oh we still need to cut out our tail almost forgot about it all right so we're gonna come in here and cut out our left and right tail oh you want to cut the bottom at a slight angle, not really a 45, a little less than a 45. Just come back in here and freehand this stuff. I always have you cut out another piece off of this one because it'll be exactly to this one in case you didn't stay on the line or something while you were cutting. You can save your pieces and put them off the side so you know where everything goes, all your electronics and all that. So I want to take and make a mirror image. So where I cut the 45, I want that little lip facing downward. And again, it wasn't really a 45, it was a little less. straight cuts on the top and the back we we got our two tail pieces pretty much identical So 
once you line this up with the nose and the, the back of the fuselage with that line you're going to want to come in here and place these like this all you got to do is eyeball this stuff so what I'm going to do glue on the bottom. Make sure this is centered where I want it. Line this up. This is all very simple guys. There's one. Go ahead and do the other side. lined up with the tail drop it on there just like the other one I didn't glue this on yet because we still want to install all of our electronics and put our ducted fan unit in here. That's why I just built this off to the side, lined it up real nice. See the tails lined up and the nose. Now for these little intakes. What I'm going to do is cut this little out. out. We're just going to trace this onto the side of each fuselage piece. Set it on here like so. Make sure it's all lined up. Now just mark all your corners. like that. Do the same for the other side. Line up your piece. Just mark the inside corners. Me, I just eyeball up these lines. Freehand them on there. You can use a little ruler. 